In this Gear in the Wild review, I'll be using the Sony 90mm lens out in the forest in some crazy changing weather, and I'll have a few of my pros and cons for you towards the end. So sit back, relax, and sip some tea with me. Hi, Josh from She's On Style Photography, and I'm out here in middle of winter. Uh, it's snowing on and off today, but I wanted to give myself a little bit of a creative challenge, something to kind of push my creativity a little bit. Uh, this year, winter has been kind of blah. You know, when I want win when I think of winter, I want snow. I want great magical winter scenes, and right now. Our winter scene is kind of dead looking. Snow is just not kicking in this year too much. So I'm gonna use this telephoto to kind of get through some of the clutter in the foreground and see what we can find. Part of the thing that can help push our creativity into a, a deeper level is when we get off the zoom lens and you restrict yourself by using a prime. And what I love about this 90 millimeter is that it's restricting, but it's still versatile in the fact it's a true one-to-one -one macro. So I do have the versatility of getting down on the ground and looking at the earth in a different way, looking at nature in a different way. At the same time, when I'm using it as a telephoto, I'm restricted to the 90 millimeter. And it's a great, focal length that really helps you focus on a subject. Some of my favorite features on this lens are its exceptional optical quality. This lens delivers outstanding sharpness, contrast, and colors across the frame, even at its maximum aperture of 2.8. This is one of Sony's sharpest lenses, and it's technically not even one of its G Masters, but I think it performs like one. This is obviously an older lens, so the specs and everything are clearly out there, but the thing I really love about this, of course, is the focal distance, the sharpness, but we're gonna make use of the optical steady shot as well today, do some handheld, and I'll bring out my, my tripod when necessary. So as expected, I thought I would get a little use out of the tripod and get some of the macro on. Another great thing about this 90 millimeter is real easy to get on to switch into manual focus. So it's coming down a little bit more now, so I'm able to get a little bit more separation between the subject and there's a little bit of fog uh, way off in the distance. So that's another thing that really helps uh, boost a creative shot. Optical Steady Shot Stabilization, OSS. 
The built-in optical steady shot stabilization system allows for handheld shooting at slower shutter speeds, which really comes in handy in certain macro shots, as well as when shooting in challenging lighting conditions. I love the fact I can wander in the woods with the OSS on and just react and be in the moment. Quiet and fast autofocus. The lens features a quiet, fast, and precise autofocus system, making it suitable for capturing moving subjects like birds and chipmunks or for general landscape shots beyond macro. Having that quick and accurate focusing ability takes the stress out of shooting and missing shots, so for me, it enhances my overall shooting experience. So with all the snow coming down, it's blanketed everything, it's beautiful, but with these big puffy flakes, it's also forced me into uh, manual focus for everything because it's just with the fog and the snow, especially over the, the wetland out there, it's really hard for the camera to figure out what to focus on. So the ease of switching from manual to autofocus with the ring is, is mm, I love it. It's just super simple. With the snow blanketing everything now too, it's created some new scenes of being able to get the contrast of some of the trees. And we'll see, I think I'll be able to have a few more uh, black and white photos come out of here. So we're out over the wetland here and I'm really trying to capture this fog off in the distance with the trees. It's, it's beautiful.
this day turned out a lot different than I expected. Uh, the scenery has completely changed from, well, the beginning of the video for you guys, but for the beginning of the day for me. And it's just beautiful. You never know what you're gonna expect out here, and that's part of the beauty of nature. And you also have to learn to roll with the punches and enjoy the process because it will just keep coming, it will just keep changing, and that's how you enjoy life. I'm trying to capture this tree in the wetland here. It's, it's in the middle of the forest and the snow on top is just it's really beautiful. Another great feature is that it has great build quality. It's made with high quality materials, weather sealed against dust and moisture. It features a durable metal barrel and the lens is reliable and long lasting, making it great for outdoor and challenging shooting conditions. As you can see today, the snow really came down and I wasn't worried at all. Thanks to its nine blade circular aperture design, the lens produces really smooth bokeh, which is great for isolating subjects and creating artistic effects in things like macro and tree portraits. I would say the only real con I have with this lens is when using it for video. It does create some beautiful visuals, but the autofocusing can be annoyingly loud, which it does show up on the video. Other than that, I wouldn't say it's an unreasonably heavy lens, but it is on the heavier side, probably due to all the metal that's used in it, but still nowhere near as heavy as some of my zooms, like the 100 to 400. But for me, the Sony 90 millimeter stands out for its exceptional optical quality and true one-to-one -one magnification ratio. The OSS stabilization and fast autofocus, as well as its versatility in various nature photography settings, makes this a perfect lens for me. Not to mention that because it's a few years old now, you can get a great price on it and there are a number of great used ones floating around also. Check out my Gear in the Wild playlist for more reviews on some of the tools and gear that help us become better and more creative photographers. Together we can figure out what's worth our time, attention, and money.